need some changing. Let's go with a fine line pen and let's outline it. I do like outlining like pretty much every piece of collage that I have. So with that, you don't want it to be like super blatant, but um, let's, while we're at it too with this pen, let's just kind of outline this little coat. And I'm doing it right on top of the piece of collage as opposed to off the edge, but it wouldn't be a big deal to do it off the edge. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm doing that right now. I'm doing it on it and off of it. And I'm just kind of going over it. At this point, I've got, kind of got the notion to do my own little buttons. So I'm just gonna draw in some little buttons here. Actually, they're pretty big buttons for this coat. <laughs> So she's got some buttons on her coat and already I'm changing it around. I didn't do these yet. All right, we got the hat. Um, I, I really like adding a little bit of neon into things. So since this is sitting here, this wasn't my first choice. I was thinking, oh, orange, but since this is sitting here, let's just go with this. And even though I'm, I'm just going to do a line. I kind of did it on and off again. I kind of like that energy look. So I'm doing that. Maybe I might want to add in. This is looking, it definitely look, is looking very fabric-y. I could do lines kind of to make it look less so, which let's just do it. So I'm adding some stuff in now. Maybe I might add a neon. This is a jelly roll yellow. I might just do some lines here and there. I'm not really thinking. I'm just kind of throwing some yellow in there. And hmm, maybe a little bit of, I don't know. It's fine. I'm thinking a little bit of black up here. I kind of I kind of like those black spaces. So let's throw some lines of black. Not too much. All right, that's probably fine. Now I'm I'm thinking. Oh, I want to go back over here and I want to do some feet. So let's just. I mean. Here's the thing, you can technically, if you're thinking about it, oh yeah, one foot should be right here, one foot should be right there, but there's a lot of space right here. So actually, I'm just going to draw the feet or the legs coming down here and just draw some feet. Th these are just simple. I don't know if you can tell, but my pen is acting like it's running out of ink. And again, it's because of the paint that's on this background. It's not good. Very good reason to use good paints on your background. So I just kind of like that. It's not what you normally would do, but um, at this point, I could even give her some arms, but I already know now that pens don't work super good on this background. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. I need to do more on her face. Like this is still to the way that it was. And this is still to the way that it was. So I'm thinking and for some reason I'm getting the notion of giving her a striped beak. So I'm just going to do it without thinking too much more about it. And then I can go back in there with some white. This way is the one that doesn't work real good. Although I kind of like it that color, but right there, there's that nostril, and for some reason that's bug bugging me. So with this, I just go right over the top of that. And right here, where the line was thicker, I can take this opaque marker. So I'm not being super careful about filling in the lines. I kind of like that. Mm. 
One more thing I wanted to do is let's I like the blue that's going on. This might be a little bit too strong. Let's try a dark Copic marker and do some circles in here. To switch it up a little bit. And then maybe some what color? I don't know. This is olive. And I'm adding more color in there. So now I'm looking at it and I'm going, hmm, it's getting kind of dark. I kind of want to lighten it back up again. So I'm going to throw just little lines of white in here. And it will kind of bring back that light. But still have that you'll still see those colors behind there so let's see here I'm really liking this white so now I'm kind of on, without thinking about it I'm kind of going around on this black part to just kind of add a little something there I'm even gonna add some white in here some of this stuff that you do, you can't really see it, but you do see it. You don't realize you see it. I really like this. Normally I would probably color this, um, and I could color this with a pan pastel, but I really am liking it black and white because I like this whole, this whole image here. So I'm just going to leave it. I want these to be darker and maybe a little bit bigger. So I'm taking my, sometimes things, if things, if you keep looking at something and something's off about it, just play with it some more. I feel like since she's kind of like leaning this way, let's give her some arms just for the heck of it. Let's not be afraid that we're gonna ruin it. I think that's the biggest um, her other arm should like be coming right here, but it's gonna mess. It's gonna mess up with the. So I'm thinking, hmm, what do I want to do? You know what? I think it's gonna mess with these black things. So I'm just gonna let's just do this. Let's put it over here. Normally I'd probably put one arm here and like one arm here, so it's like she's looking that way. But this works. And we can decide, do we want to look in a fashion magazine for some real hands and go back to collage and do that? Or do we want to just draw something in? Or do what, what do we want to do? Maybe she has mittens because it's cold outside. Mittens are easy to draw, so let's give her some mittens. And... Maybe she's practicing skiing right now. I, I want to fill those in. And I'm looking at what, what other colors are on here. But I think she needs red mittens. And I could use this. I I am going to use the Copic marker. Or I could use, I have a red one, a red one of these. But I already know now that Copics work better on this cheap paint. So let's just fill it in with Copics. Copics pretty much go over everything. I love them. But they're